Hello there, mga kahigala, mga amigos, mga amigas, mga teachers, mga students, mga friendship, mga beshes, mga former graduates of Xavier University, including those who have dropped out. I'm right here in front of the Lucas Hall, the iconic Lucas Hall of Xavier University, which was built before World War II. <laughs> So just imagine that. So if your grandparents are now in their 70s or 80s, when this building was built, they were still in fans. Um, I just came from the second floor of Lucas Hall because I bought this book from the XU Press, The Untold Stories of Kamigin Island. So you see this one? Actually, this is the 10th book that I have purchased from XU Press because I'm giving this away to my friends as gifts. If you cannot go to Kamigin, you might as well just read this one. For this vlog, I'm going to uh, give you a tour of the Lucas Hall building. At the start of this pandemic, when I discussed with my students um, some structures in the university and they told me, um, uh, Mom, excuse me, I, we haven't gone to the campus. <laughs> so I was it got me into thinking oh yeah because you belong to the batch where we have the pandemic and then you were not here no you you, you could not come to the campus so I, I will give you a tour and uh, for those who have graduated in Xavier this can also be a, a time in your life wherein you will reminisce the past you can recall ah, I, I have been there um, in one of the classrooms we had our classes okay so let me give you a tour of the Lucas Hall building, okay? And this is really iconic because this was built before World War II. So just imagine that. Okay, so mga kahigala, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do because I'm going to give you informative content as well as some light materials or light, like some light topics under the sun, okay? So please hit that like and subscribe button. All right, so let's now begin our tour. statue of St. Ignatius, but we're going to talk about that later. That area there is the registrar's office, okay? And then this wing is called Xavier Hall and right there at the second floor are the usual classrooms of law students okay so you could see them around 5 p.m but that's before the pandemic okay so around 5 p.m they're already there gathering and reviewing their notes okay? and that door over there is the office of the vice president of basic education. But you know, before, uh, during my time when I was a student here in the 90s, this used to be the ladies' lounge. All right, ladies' lounge. And that area there used to be the HR office. Okay, but now it's occupied by the Office of International Cooperation and Networking. The ladies' room. Okay, so we will enter the ladies' room. Why is that? Because I want to show you that it has already improved. Hi. It has already improved compared to what we had in the past. And you know, there are some urban legends that it's haunted and with my art appreciation class before in the humanities the, one of the groups made a short film about this and it's a horror film
<laughs> and this area before used to be the office of the graduate school. Okay, but now it's for um, Institu Institutional Research Ethics Board Office. We have here the office of the Vice President of Higher Education. Okay, and this one, uh, popular for the scholars. Wow. Okay. Admissions and Aid Office. Guidance and Counseling Office. We have here the male CR. Of course, I cannot get in. <laughs> <laughs> and then okay you see huh? that's the ground where I was earlier okay we have the HR okay but you know before during my time when I was still a student we had our classroom here it used to be a classroom area but, but now by my mother when I took the exam. Aww. Okay. So we're heading towards the clinic. Health services. Oh, mother, mother, I am sick. Call the doctor very quick. It leads us to the residence of the Jesuits. Wow. The house. And we have our soccer field. And there is our church. Well, that would be for another episode. Okay, so let me go back <laughs> to the Lucas Hall. Mm -hmm. So this is where we were earlier. this area especially that um, we also have our performance here I asked my students to perform right here I actually transform this place here into a stage and they perform and they would say mom huh um, we're exposed to everyone else in the in the campus and then I would say so what <laughs> it's performance right so you have to showcase your talents <laughs> that the architectural design of the Lucas Hall, particularly the columns here, use the Doric order from the Greeks. Okay? So magnificent. So, yeah, that's the registrar once again. And I am heading towards the President's office. So earlier we met Father Mars Tan. This is the office of the president. Okay, so when I started my schooling, it was already the end of Father Javier's term. As he was replaced by the brilliant Father Nebres until my graduation in 1993. And when I started teaching, it was already Father Ting or Antonio Samson. We really liked him because every year, our Chris Christmas gift would increase. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> okay, and then he was replaced by the handsome, crush ng bayan, Father Jet Villarreal. Wow! After Father Jet, 
we had Father Roberto Yap. Okay, so this is the seal of our school. This is also part of the registrar's office. So you will get your diploma here, your transcript of records. Okay, you will also have your validation for your enrollment. The finance office. So you can see already in the street, that's Corrales Avenue. We have the Museo de Oro. So one of these days, we'll also have a tour inside our museum. This is the finance office. Xavier Hall. So we passed through there earlier, uh, going to the president's office. But here we are going to the second floor, the College of Law. Okay, and we find here the classrooms. Research or Kuro, and we have the cooperative Supo. This is the XU Press that published the book that I described to you earlier. This area before in the 80s and in the 90s used to be the dean's office of the college of arts and sciences and this area used to be one of the classrooms where i attended classes right here in the balcony the kangastan by the risauna pituhan sa guardia kay basi mahulog these are still classrooms actual classroom if you remember this room these this used to be the speech lab of the English department and then it became the faculty room of the College of Nursing and then afterwards when the College of Nursing moved to the former CIT building this became the faculty room of some senior high school faculty this would lead us back to the infirmary or showing you more shots of the Lucas Hall. So this is outside the clinic part. where I went out earlier to show you the Loyola house but I'm right here to give you this view of the Lucas Hall so if you are from the soccer field this is what you see that second floor over there was the Dean's office Dean of the College of Nursing and then it became the principal's office principal of the senior high school but now they have moved 
uptown. So it's a very lonely place there and right now. In fact, the office is closed. Okay, so that will be your view. The magnificent green soccer field. I'm back to the Lucas Hall where you have the statue of Saint Ignatius of Loyola. Okay, so whoever can tell me where his sword is right now because it's missing, you can comment in the comment section below. So where could be his sword? I hope that you like this vlog that I have presented to you today as we had our tour uh, in the Lucas Hall building of Xavier University. So I hope that this vlog uh, had made you reminisce the time when you spent your education here in Xavier University. And for those who have not stepped into this campus, I hope that this video has helped a lot uh, for you to visualize what the campus looks like, particularly the Lucas Hall. Thank you very much for watching this vlog and I hope that if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscribe and the like button. So thank you very much. Until next time.